Hey, hello again, everybody. Uh, little nod to all you Mad Max post-apocalyptic, and I guess you could kind of fit it into a rat rod, I suppose, sort of gang. <coughs> Can't actually remember what this kit was called originally. I think it's by MPC. It was a, I think it was a Love Machine or Love Buggy, something like that, Love Wagon. I've built a lot of models since then. I've had this one quite a while in my parts bin. Use the rims off of a 18 band and tyres as the standard stock rims were like really nasty plastic. Like the the tyres were nasty plastic you had to glue together. Hideous. I use the rear exhaust off of can't remember, but another kit. They should have been side stacks, but I've done it like up above just to make it look a little different. Uh, I made a bit of a fuck up when I made this. I put the bed on back to front. As when I got the kit, it was cheap. I didn't get any instructions with it. So yeah, if anybody's out there and they're like, "Oh, he's done it wrong," yeah, I know. It was, I was kind of working on my own. Uh, done it flat black as for some reason all post-apocalyptic vehicles in the future are going to be black I have no idea why it's worked it had no t-top so I've done that out of plastic cars best as I could I made the engine completely myself <clears throat> I think it's made out of three different engines from different MPC kits I used this half the end oh, I wasn't pointer again I used basically this half of the engine off of one engine the other half off of another and I made the twin blowers out of plastic card as I saw a diagram on the internet fell in love with the design of the engine so I've got to make one of those one day Shame I didn't actually wire it all up, but then again, it was back in the day before I started trying to experiment with all that sort of stuff. Interior is pretty stock. Get that right here of the rims. I am really proud of that engine. It's not often I ever say I'm proud of my models, but the engine I'm actually proud of. I think the hood is made up of mainly plastic card as well. <laughs> but, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's actually 124th. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a chop top, but it just doesn't seem like a 124th scale model. I mean, this is a Revel, or a Revel, whatever the hell you call it. And it just seems too small for what it is. So, yeah. I don't know what your thoughts are on that, but that's basically it. <coughs> so until next time, massive shout out to everybody, and I hope you're all cool. Whoop.